Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Bad Omen A rare and mysterious sea creature was captured in South America in the summer of 2022. This creature was absolutely enormous and drew huge crowds at the docks in the Chilean city of Arica. The fish wasn't mysterious in that nobody knew what it was, but rather in that the locals have taken it as an extremely bad omen. It was an oarfish, and they are very rare. Fishermen discovered the massive oarfish just swimming around in shallow water off the coast as if totally normal. But this isn't normal, as oarfish live deep in the ocean, between 660 and 3,300 feet deep, and are very rarely seen by humans never mind captured by them. Most experts agree almost every myth of sea serpents across the globe can be traced back to ancient sightings of oarfish. To make things even more terrifying, the oarfish is typically sighted before some kind of massive disaster, usually a tsunami. This particular oarfish was estimated at between 16 and 20 feet, which isn't even half as big as they can grow. Unconfirmed reports have documented the oarfish at 50 feet, with confirmed catches at 26 feet. They are totally bizarre because unlike pretty much every other fish in the ocean, the oarfish can allegedly swim vertically with its head pointing up and its tail pointing at the ocean floor. Scientists have no idea why it swims like that. Hopefully, it's not the harbinger of doom the Chileans think it is. They caught it in mid-July 2022, and so far there haven't been any crazy disasters but maybe it's still early days. Number 9. The Tentacle Rabbit Something very unusual was just discovered in South Dakota in the summer of 2022. In Sioux Falls, a rabbit was found with tentacles drooping off its face. The rabbit looked as though an octopus or a squid had attached itself to its face as some sort of disturbing symbiotic relationship. But unfortunately for the rabbit, it was even more disturbing than that. The afflicted creature was discovered by a local resident named Dennis Shore while he was walking his dog one morning. Dennis had never seen anything like it in his life. The tentacles growing from the rabbit's face and head weren't actually appendages, but a growth caused by a form of the papillomavirus. This is a specific virus only found in cottontail rabbits. According to Josh Delger, a biologist with Game Fish and Parks, the infection spreads through ticks or mosquitoes, and it's similar to HPV in humans. Whereas HPV will give people warts, the rabbit version, CPRV, creates massive drooping growths that look like deflated rubber octopus arms. But don't worry, because the rabbit won't die from having a face full of tentacles. The natural lifespan of a cottontail rabbit is only about three years, and so it will most likely die of natural causes if it doesn't get eaten by an eagle first. Number 8. Egyptian Mystery Sea Creature In June of 2022, Andrea Judd stumbled upon something quite astonishing while on a beach in Egypt. She was at the Gaber El Bint on the Sinai Peninsula, and there on the rocky sand was something that looked like it came straight from a horror movie. It kind of looked like an eel, or maybe an alien. It had a pair of jaws, didn't seem to have any eyeballs, no ears, no fins or flippers, and it was a dry gray color. It almost looked like the mummy of some mutated mermaid, which would have been suitable seeing as it was found in Egypt. The creature was definitely dry. It had gotten pushed about 40 feet from the water and then spent a significant amount of time in the sun. Andrea found the specimen early in the morning, but she didn't touch it because it made her feel uneasy. According to what she told the Daily Mail, she thought it looked like an orc from Lord of the Rings. Andrea did take pictures, and she posted those pictures on social media and asked for an identification. She included the fact that the creature was about the size of her entire arm. Some said it was a baby Loch Ness monster, some said a moray eel, but it was National Aquarium employee Holly Bourbon who identified it as a viper moray. It's pretty similar to the moray eel, but even more frightening. They live in the Red Sea and aren't considered dangerous to people, just ugly and scary with their long, slippery, snake-like bodies and mouths full of fangs. Number 7. The Bear Lake Monster The Bear Lake Monster supposedly lives near the border of Utah and Idaho. 
This mysterious creature has its roots going all the way back to the days before the Pilgrims, when Native Americans were the only people in North America. According to the legends of the people who lived on the land near Bear Lake, the monster gobbles up anyone who gets too close to the edge. Some say it was a very real creature that lived in the lake, while others say it was just a fairy tale told to keep kids from wandering too close to the water and accidentally drowning. We know the Native American legends of the monster date back centuries, but the earliest modern report of an actual mysterious creature living in Bear Lake was in 1868. A man by the name of Joseph C. Rich sent a story about witnessing a massive serpent-like beast in the lake to the Desert News newspaper. The creature was supposedly responsible for plucking swimmers out of the water never to be seen again. We don't know if this ever actually happened, but supposedly the locals became so worried that everyone stopped visiting the lake. Only the bravest of souls would actually go in. And even today, people are wary of Bear Lake's waters. Number 6. The Lusca The Lusca is a mysterious creature that is half shark and half octopus. Some believe it's actually just a gigantic octopus, bigger than any other octopus species on the planet, and people have only mistaken it for having shark parts. In the last few centuries, the mysterious sea creature has been spotted more than once in the Caribbean. One of the biggest issues, though, is that no one can seem to agree on what exactly they saw. For example, there was a sighting of the Lusca on the coast of the Bahamas on January 18, 2011. A gigantic octopus, the likes of which nobody had ever seen before, washed up on Grand Bahama Island. Eyewitnesses said the creature was at least 30 feet long, but that parts of its head and mouth were missing. It had tentacles like an octopus, but it almost seemed like there had been something different where its head should have been. There was another famous sighting in 1896. This exact same thing washed up near St. Augustine in Florida. Locals said it was the carcass of the biggest octopus ever, comparable to a kraken. But eventually the ocean pulled it back in, and all trace of it was lost. These tales and similar ones have been told for hundreds of years. Either there really is a species of gigantic octopus unknown to scientists, or there is an octopus-shark hybrid lurking near the Caribbean. Or perhaps it's all just a fantasy. What do you think? Do you think the Lesca is real? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! Number 5. South African Alien In South Africa back in 2013, a park ranger named Llewellyn Dixon snapped some photos of something that appeared to be a dead alien. The carcass was extremely strange-looking, with an unusually slender body, skinny arms and legs, and a head almost like a petrified goat. It was so weird that no one had any idea what it was, and so Llewellyn took the corpse to a local veterinarian to perform an autopsy. As it turns out, the creature wasn't actually from a different world. According to Dr. Magdalena Brom at the Crags Veterinary Clinic, it was just a baby baboon. The reason it looked so much like a freakish extraterrestrial was that the baby had been carried around by its mother long after it had already died. And here's where things get even more bizarre. Dr. Brahm said such behavior isn't unusual. A mother will sometimes carry around her deceased infant for up to four weeks before finally letting it go. During that time, the infant primate will get stretched out and dry until it looks like leather, like something you might see used in a voodoo ritual. Number 4. Monster Snails in London a couple of very unusual creatures have been spotted near London Bridge in the English capital. Two giant African land snails were found making their way down a busy street after escaping from a cardboard box. Somebody had left the snails in a makeshift cage with some lettuce and then abandoned them. These snails are not only gigantic, over 8 inches long, but also potentially fatal. Giant African land snails are known for carrying deadly parasites that transmit rat lungworm to humans. And if that sounds horrifying, that's because it is. The rat lungworm parasite can cause meningitis and kill. Even more, the giant African land snail is considered one of the most dangerous pests in the world. These things breed like crazy, multiply quickly, 
and can eat all the crops in a single farmer's field nearly as quickly as a cloud of locusts. Their favorite food includes cocoa, bananas, peanuts, and cauliflower. They are a major problem in Florida, and now they've been let loose in London. But don't worry, nobody has caught any parasites from these snails yet. They were picked up by a good Samaritan, a local wildlife volunteer named Beth Crivelli. Beth has since taken them home to care for them until she can find someone to adopt them. Number 3. A Living Balloon Lurking deep inside the darkest depths of the Indian Ocean, explorers captured video of a very strange and unusual creature. The dive involved an unmanned vessel going deep into the Java Trench, one of the deepest parts in the Indian Ocean. The crew was watching back the video when they saw the creature emerge from the darkness. According to Alan Jamieson from Newcastle University, it drifted toward the camera, then drifted off again and looked like a plastic bag floating in the wind, or rather like a balloon on a string. The creature had a single long appendage like a tentacle, and it appeared to be holding on to something. The body of the creature was a gelatinous clear blob, like a misshaped balloon. Nobody had ever seen one of these animals before, and so nobody knew what to call it. Alan had to do some seriously in-depth research, and he turned up a similar sighting from Japan about 20 years prior. The Japanese described it as a species of stocked ascidian, commonly known as a sea squirt. However, there were some major differences. The creature seen by the Japanese had filaments on its head, but the one in the Indian Ocean did not. Because of these differences, researchers believe they have found a totally new kind of animal. It lives 21,000 feet beneath the ocean and has itself anchored to the sea floor with its singular tentacle. We don't know what it eats, but it probably filter feeds through unseen mouths. Seeing as the Java Trench has hardly been explored and is crazy deep, it's no surprise that there are unknown critters living inside it. Number 2. Taiwanese Water Monster Sun Moon Lake in Taiwan is one of the most spectacular natural places in the entire island. It's located high up in the mountains, a mysterious lake steeped in history and culture. It's a popular tourist destination and is apparently home to a water monster. Back in 2016, local paddleboard coach Lai Young Lee was guiding a group of tourists across the lake on their paddleboards when he spotted an unusual shape swimming up toward the surface. He paddled close to it, trying to see what it was, but it immediately disappeared back into the unfathomable depths. He tried to take a video, but only managed to get the last few seconds. Even only seeing it from afar and for a brief moment, it was clear whatever he had witnessed was nearly the size of his entire paddleboard. It was probably six feet long, and it didn't look like anything he had seen before, which was surprising since he had worked at the lake for a very long time. So far, we don't know for sure what the gigantic fish was. It looked like a miniature sea serpent and may have been a long fin eel. Eels were added to the lake to reduce the overwhelming population of giant snakehead fish, and they do look kind of like sea serpents. Or maybe there's actually a Loch Ness monster type situation going on here, and we just don't know it yet. Number 1. The Furry Sea Creature In Australia in January 2022, a beachgoer came across something peculiar, half buried in the sand in Daruk Park. She had no idea what it was. It was very obviously fuzzy, and it wasn't moving very quickly. The woman took a video and posted it online to see if the bizarre creature could be identified. Some said maybe it was a mole crab or some kind of crustacean. It honestly looked like a toupee that had fallen off somebody's head and gotten a mind of its own. It was eventually identified by the Australian Marine Conservation Society as a sea potato, also known as a heart urchin. Sea potatoes bury in the sand and live in the mud, and their bodies are covered in tiny spines. That's what makes them look so fuzzy. And they feed primarily on dead things, using their specialized tube feet to basically suck the nutrients out of dead animals and plants. Thanks for watching! Which of these sea monsters did you like the most? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!